The Chance Comanche case is out of control. Episode 12 drops on Friday. I thought they take team buses. I don't know. Do they? I think G Leaguers take team buses. I don't think they have planes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I think I think G Leaguers take buses. I if G Leaguers fly, bus? yeah, if G Leaguers fly, I'd be shocked. I think they take team buses. Okay, if they take team yeah, buses, they bus around. I doubt she's on that team bus. <clears throat> yeah, she's not. So, so Vegas between team activities, wasn't there something going on in Vegas for the G League? Uh, yeah, their the own in-season showcase. tournament. The winter, yeah, the winter showcase. Mm, okay. That, by the right way, then. that the Westchester Knicks won. Shout out to the Westchester Knicks. Yay. Anyway, <laughs> Comanche played for the Stockton Kings, the NBA G League affiliate of the Sacramento Kings. Rogers, a 23-year-old from Lakewood, Washington, had traveled to Sin City on December 1st with a friend with the intent to, with the quote-unquote, intent to in- engage in prostitution. That same night, Hamden began seeking her ex bos help after there were reported issues between her and Rogers. Uh, okay. Hamden and Rogers, who both worked as prostitutes in the Vegas area, argued over a Rolex as Rogers threatened to smoke Hamden if she didn't give her her watch. <clears throat> Sorry, I should have put quote-unquote smoke. And that's your man Chance Comanche right there. <clears throat> Comanche and Hamden then decided to kill Rogers when they failed to hire a hitman for $3,000. They discussed several different ways to commit the murder, which included poisoning, strangulation, and a gun. Quote, unquote. And I can, hey, all of this was on text? Oh, I think I'm going to get there. Quote, I can snap her neck or just strangle the bitch. Quote, unquote. Comanche allegedly wrote in a message among Hamden and a third man who had contact with someone who can get Rogers, quote, unquote, chipped. Quote, unquote, if you get a nice little thick piece of rope or some or some sturdy, I can do it from the back seat, like how the killers do it in the movies, unquote. <sighs> Hamden and Rogers had also got into an altercation on December 4th as she allegedly implicated Rogers' boyfriend in a double murder in California, which led to the man's arrest. Comanche met Hamden through a dating app a year and a half ago and broke up after a few months after of dating. Touch following their breakup. Okay, so they weren't even together at the at the time. Friends with benefits. This was this is my uh, Ma, Ma, Marina. I think her name is. That's the, one I got, that's the one I was. That's, murdered. A, that's a girl who got murdered. Correct. Wow. Rogers was lured to death by Comanche and Hamden, who promised her a double date with another man and to meet them at a predetermined location, according to a newly released text messages. And you can see the demon eyes of the girl who planned this. On December 4th, Comanche had checked into the M Resort and Casino in Henderson, Nevada with the Kings as they were playing a game the next night at the Dollar Loan Center. Following the Kings game, Comanche made his way back to his hotel with the team before he went back outside and got into Hamden's car and they drove to meet Rogers. After purchasing alcohol, the trio drove to a cul-de-sac near the former house of Comanche's friend where they had originally planned to commit the murder. Hamden had explained to Rogers that Comanche was the trick, which is a prostitute client, and was going, and was, quote, going to pay them for their services, unquote, with Sakari explaining Comanche was into kinky, quote, unquote, kinky sex and wanted to tie them up before having sex. Quote, Rogers agreed and began removing her clothes. Hamden removed her clothing and climbed over the center console and straddled Rogers' lap. Quote, unquote, the police records read, before adding Comanche had grabbed a plastic, a bag of plastic zip ties that were already in the car and handed two to Sakari. There she goes there again as a medical assistant, I guess. Yeah. Rogers willingly had her wrists tied together before Comanche wrapped the cord around her neck while Hamden, still straddling Rogers, placed her hand on a defenseless woman's neck. Wow. 